Hey everyone, Usul here, and welcome to my Chunk Lock Ultimate Iron Man series. So this we're only going to play in chunks that have been unlocked, and they will be unlocked randomly. I'll go over the rules in a moment. Uh, in addition, as an Ultimate Iron Man, I cannot trade or use the bank. Um, I'm also uh, recording this later because when I started this, I actually wasn't feeling so good, and the audio is really, really bad. So again, um, just to give credit where it's due, um, this is inspired both by Puka Guy's One Chunk Man, the original chunk map locked account of any kind, uh, and by Link, Link's Ocarina's Upgrade and Unlock series. Um, both of those will be uh, linked in the description. Uh, so be following Link's series a little bit more than Puka Guys. Um, we'll see that when we get into the rules. Um, I'm also going to be using the Chunk Light Rune Light plugin uh, made by Slay to Slay. Um, that way I can more easily see where I can and cannot go. Uh, although I will say now, I did learn the hard way that that doesn't show up on the minimap. So I will be trying not to use the minimap going forward. Uh, and I also have a link to the rules that I'm about to go over on uh, in the description. So, first off, uh, this is an Ultimate Iron Man account. Um, something I have never tried before. I have I've had a regular Iron Man, I've had an Ultimate or a Hardcore Iron Man, but I've never tried Ultimate Iron Man. So we'll see how that goes. Um, it's a different kind of gameplay, which also led to being a bit different than what Link's been doing. Um, since death is a mechanic, uh, there will be no no negatives for dying. Um, so first off, we're going to train or interact in map chunks that have been unlocked. Uh, we're going to be starting in Lumbridge, obviously. So you can see we're in Lumbridge now. Uh, additional chunks will be selected randomly using Amazon's Chunk Picker. Uh, same one we've seen other people using. Uh, it's a wonderful thing. Uh, to unlock new chunks, so first off, uh, we're going to gain um, 25 total levels, so every 25 level milestone we'll get another lock, or another unlock. We'll also get an unlock for completing a quest, or mini quest. So essentially any time a line in the quest log turns green, uh, we will gain another chunk unlock. The only exception to that is if a single award of four or more quest points, I will get two chunks instead of one. So some of the some of the quests give more quest points, uh, so we will get a second unlock for that. Uh, additionally, anytime I enter a guild for the first time, so I have to have the chunk unlocked and the requirements to enter the guild, we get another one. Uh, I also have a special a list of special tasks. Um, which I will go over because that's kind of an addendum to the rules. Yeah, I went negative. Uh, anytime I go out of zone by entering a locked map chunk will cause a forfeiture. I will need to drop my most valuable item. Um, and of course you will see uh, see that here because I do managed to make mistakes in my very first episode. Hopefully I won't make any for a while. Um, but it is really easy to accidentally get routed wrong. Um, which we've seen with uh, uh, the Monk Man um, from Caveman Only. Uh, in addition, when the main entrance to a dungeon is unlocked, the entire dungeon 
is unlocked and accessible. Now that's the main entrance. So like with the Lumbridge Caves, there's an access point in Lumbridge Castle. Now if for some reason I'm able to get the requirements to go through the entrance in the Lumbridge Castle before I unlock where it is in the swamp, I still cannot go in there. That area is still locked. Um, odds are I'll probably get to the swamp entrance before I get the agility to get down into the caves the other way, but that's just how it's going to go. Uh, so for unlocking, an adjacent chunk will be considered one that you can travel to by any means except teleport spells. So casting magic does not, op does not open chunks, um, but boats will allow me to open chunks. So when I get to Port Serum, everywhere that the boats in the unlocked chunk go to become possible places that could be unlocked next. Uh, but for travel maps this is with a hub, like say Spirit Trees or the Gnome Gliders, uh, that method is not considered active for unlocking until the hub is an active chunk and unlocked. So I'm going to have to do the quests or whatever other requirements are for that transport method uh, before I can use them to unlock additional chunks. Uh, in addition, I can also buy extra unlocks of coin. Um, so the first one that I buy will be 1k and doubling for each one after that up to a maximum of 500k. Uh, the difference with this is I will actually have to drop them because I don't have a bank. Um, so there will be no holding on to that coin. That coin will just be gone completely. Um, so I'll need to keep track of how many where I'm at on paying for chunks. Uh, when it comes to Slayer, uh, I can choose to skip or not um, when I have the points to do so. My choice. Uh, if something is assigned that I can't get to, and then uh, for some of the special chunks or special tasks. Um, So whenever I start a chunk lock skill, so that's uh, any skill that does not have a repeatable training method available until a specific chunk or series of chunks is unlocked. So examples for that are construction, slayer, agility. Um, and I just realized that that also includes um, uh, mining. Uh, because my initial chunk does not have any ores in it. Uh, but it does not include smithing because I could technically kill goblins and men to get the ores to smell bars. I uh, probably won't do that, but also with a locked skill, oh, and there's one of my first mistakes, uh, which cost me, so now I just realized that uh, the plugin does not show on the minimap. Uh, in addition, uh, with a chunk lock skill, I have to get it to level 5 before before I get the unlock. So when I unlock an area where there are ores that I can mine, then I will be getting... Uh, I have to get to five mining before I get that extra chunk. Uh, same thing with agility. If I get somewhere where I can actually train agility, uh, it's not necessarily a course. If I can get to any repeatable method, so if I can get into the swamp, there's a... Uh, an item there, or a, a shortcut there, that you can do it at level one. Uh, once I get level five, 
uh, lamping does not count. So if, like for agility, if I end up lamping to level 5, because the first thing I get to is the shortcut in Falador, then I will need to get that amount of XP for level 5 from that shortcut before I can uh, get that extra unlock. Uh, I'm also going to give unlocks for reaching certain base stats. Uh, I'll be starting at 40, and there's mistake number two. Learned just because it looks like maybe I could go there does not necessarily mean that I can. So that strip was not as wide as I thought it was. And it cost me another item. And oddly enough, red was my most valuable item. So, <clears throat> going on. So again, yeah, base stats. So we'll start at base 40. So if I get everything to 40, um, then I get a chunk. And again, at 50, 60, and so on. Uh, first KC, or kill count of any boss, will count. And yeah, see, I'm saying that I can't get into the cow pen yet. Also, uh, every five unique items in each tier in the collection lock, uh, as well as completing achievement diary tiers. When I get to any skill to level 99, I will get an unlock, and at max level. And I believe that even with all of this, I think to unlock the entire map, uh, which will be one of the goals of this account, I will still need to pay a significant amount of gold. Because I don't think I can unlock absolutely everything with just these sets. But we will see. So that is all the rules. Again, there will be a link in the description for that. And on the screen, I just kind of went and started focusing on getting a little bit of money there. Um, let's see if I can get to uh, 50 total level and unlock. Yeah, I get a little more cash. Uh -oh. yeah, pickpocketing is competitive there, level four. It's supposed to be at thirty-five. Total level, I believe. Right here is why this is good that I decided to start this with numbers. Way through, almost to five thieving. some of the stalls. And I keep going at it. Yeah, we're coming close to the end of that first clip. Yep, I'll just 
start with wood cutting. I actually did uh, did some of the wood cutting off camera. And I got to uh, six wood cutting, eight fire macking. close to uh, that 50 total level for that next unlock. Because I have six wood cutting. Everything into getting a better wood cutting axe. Uh, speed things up some. got me to 50 total level. So I get to unlock another chunk. So right, chunk the grower. So I'm kind of talking about the potential ones I had. So out of all of those, one was the only one that would have been completely useless. Um, two would have opened up Ability to complete. Uh, oh, okay. Would have opened up chickens and cows. Um, but I wouldn't have been able to get flour. Uh, three would have opened up um, access to farming, tree patch. Uh, four would have opened up mining and fishing. Three and four would have all been useful. Chunk. And got three. Which was actually somewhat useful. And, uh, and as is usual, um, I had some difficulties remembering how the uh, plugin worked. back uh, and I figured it out. Well, mostly figured it out. I finally figured it out all the way. Um, cause... Nope, it's not showing it because I missed something. multiple times on the spare to fully unlock it. So I now have access to here. And I remember where I can get farming tools without getting access to a shop. And then I remembered, yep, that's right, gardener cell phone. Find out how much rate costs so I get started on farming. So 15 coins.
came back and got it later. Choices. I know that one would have been really bad. Uh, completely useless. Uh, actually, still will be for a bit. I kind of went back to training for a bit off camera. And here we are. Got some more woodcutting done. Did a little bit of fletching there. And now I'm gonna buy myself a rake. And get started on some farming. So at this point I've got a repeatable method for training farming, although somewhat slow. before I get an unlock from farming. I may even get another skill. Oh, and then realizing that I'd forgotten to turn on ship drop. I'm so used to it, I completely forgot that it's off by default. Woodcutting, fire making, we got up to 75 total level. And we're going to do one more chunk unlock. Now again, one would do me no good. Two unlocks a couple of useful things. Three, it's reminding of fishing, two new skills. Four, six. Get better light source, possibly. Four gives me the ability to finish uh, Cook's Assistant. That's a quest done. It gives me access to eggs. Milk and flour. And five gets me into Parts of Drainer Village, which also unlocks possibly fishing. So, I'm gonna do it, and we got five. So, we now have access to parts of Drainer Village. Oh, and I've got two attack there, because I realized that uh, there were level one spiders, which meant some beginning of combat training could occur. And how about, you know, those that have access to the fishing there. Um, access to the wine trader, which is food source. Actually, 
about where I ended it. Um, so, let's have to see where we go from here. Um, so got some levels up. See, I'm kind of moving around. Uh, 20 wood cutting, watching fire making, 6 fletching, 6 thieving, and 2 attack. Three chunks of unlocked. Uh, I think we actually got a pretty good set for starters. Anyways, we will see you next time.